Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mr. Blitz and this this beautiful PC right here is where I do all of my professional work on. Whether it's video editing, photo editing, graphic design, illustration, gaming, animation, you name it. It's all done on this device. So, welcome to my $1,500 gaming PC build. Let's dive in. Alright, so before we get into the actual PC, I just wanted to let you guys know that no, this isn't my final gaming setup. I'm still waiting for the other two monitors and a couple of accessories to arrive, they're still on their way. Um, so expect a gaming setup video in about three weeks from now. Just heads up, and now on to the PC. Alright, so I've been doing loads of things on this PC. I've done loads of powerful gaming, whether it's Fortnite, Destiny, Apex Legends, um, Watch Dogs. I've done loads of gaming and haven't experienced any performance issues, even when I played on 240 FPS. I've also done a lot of professional video editing for my soccer editing channel as well as this channel and also my third channel. Um, all of these other channels will be linked in the description if you want to check it out. And I did them in Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects and it was running perfectly smooth, smoothly with no lag issues whatsoever. I've also been doing some 2D animation in Adobe Anime and 3D animation in Cinema 4D. Um, and so far so good. I've had no problems with it. So as it sounds, this PC has been perfectly capable of all my needs, even when I decided to push it a bit further. And so now, let's jump into the specs. Now starting off with the CPU, this PC packs an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, which has 6 cores, 12 threads, and a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz. As for the GPU or graphics card, we have an AMD Radeon RX 5700. This PC also has 16GB of RAM from GSCO and a GB B450 Avoris Pro motherboard. As for the storage, we have a 500GB Samsung 970 EVO Pro SSD and a 4TB hard drive from, gigabyte from Seagate, making the total storage 4.5TB. On top of that all, we have a liquid cooler from Deepcool and the NZXT F510 Elite case. Now yes, this PC has been an absolute killer for me. It has served me so well and honestly, I'm not looking forward to upgrading it anytime soon. All of these PC parts will of course be linked in the description for you guys to check out um, if you're interested. Anyway, that's it for today's video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on my upcoming setup video. Also make sure to leave a comment below, down below telling me whether you thought this video was helpful. Anyway, that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.